everything is all right. Um, it's important to under uh, talk about the subject because uh, we need to understand that there might be many problems around us, but at the end of the day, we need we still need to learn how to be thankful. Thankful for what God gave us. Thankful for everything that He did for us. This world might be bad. There might be a lot of things going on in our life, but if if we depend on God, He knows how to make it good. He knows how to make everything all right. So um, we're gonna be talking about uh, a woman who um, depended on God, and all of her problems went away. We're gonna see how it helped her, how it helped her to get close to God, how it helped her believing in God, and how her problems went away. Everything is all right. She know what this meant. In Second Kings chapter four verse eight, we find these words: "Everything is all right." These words were spoken by this woman as she was going up a mountain, and Prophet Elsa, his servant Giaz, walked up to her and he said, "Are you all right?" And she said, "Everything is all right." This woman always believed God will fix her problems. She depended on him. All her problems went away. Everything is all right, was the word that she said to him. We need to say these words more often. We need to learn a lot from this woman. This woman's story begins. As the Bible mentions her, it starts off by uh, describing her as a well-to-do woman. It says a well-to-do woman was there. Why did he call her a well-to-do woman? Why not just a woman was there? Why was she well-to-do? What did she do that she needed this, t this type of recognition? Was she rich? Was she part of royalty? What was God's measurement? See, God's measurement is different from our measurement. He called her a well-to-do woman. We'll see why she was called a well-to-do later on in our lesson. So, around this well-to-do woman, there was Prophet Elsa. And he was around her, her house, and he was walking by and she invited him over and she prepared a meal for him see this well-to-do woman knew that Prophet Elsa was a man of God and since she knew he was a, a man of God she wanted to invite him she wanted to get close to him this is the first lesson of why she was called a well-to-do. She knew to get close to someone who is a man of God. Someone that has good intentions. Someone that's a good person. We need to learn from her when we pick our friends. What kind of friends are we picking? Are we picking friends that tell us to go to church? That tell us to pray? that tell us to stop doing the things that we shouldn't be doing to begin with? Or are we picking friends that tell us to stop going to church, to stop praying, and to start drinking, and to start smoking? See, a well-to-do woman, she got close to the people of God, and she invited Prophet Elsa and prepared a meal for him. This is another thing we should be learning. For our fathers, for our priests, for our elders, we should be inviting them to our houses. We should be getting close to them. We should be giving them food. We should be preparing a meal for them. But most of us are too busy talking behind their back. Making fun of priests. 
talk me wrongly of See, this woman didn't do any of those things. So she was called a well-to-do woman. She invited him to the house and she prepared a meal for him. Just because he was a man of God. And Elsa started coming to the house more often. And this woman would come, she'd prepare the meal for him, and she would sit him down, he would come by. This went on over and over again. Elsa would come and he would greet her. So Elsa and this woman started a good relationship. This became a regular thing, back and forth, back and forth. Elsa would come, she would cook, he would leave, he would come, he would bless her, he would bless her family, and then he would go back. Eventually, the woman went to her husband, and she said, This man comes to our house a lot. We should do something for this man. She said, Let's build a house for him on top of a mountain. Since he's a man of God, he needs something from us. And we should prepare a house for him. And her husband agreed. This is another thing that we should learn from this woman, a well-to-do woman. This is showing the role that a woman has to play in a, in a marriage in a relationship a woman has the power in her hands either to destroy a relationship or to strengthen a relationship she has the power to convince the boyfriend the husband either in a good way or in a bad way she could be the reason that the boyfriend or the husband is going to church, is giving thanks to God, or she could be the reason why he's not going to church and he stops praising God. Woman, this is in your hands. You have the power to persuade men. This is a gift you were given. And men, When you guys start dating, or if you guys are dating right now, this shows you the type of woman you need to be selecting. Do not select a woman that will persuade you to go away from God. Select carefully. A woman that will persuade you, just like this woman, to do nice things for elderly people, to build the next church. to pray this is the type of woman men should be selecting a woman you should be more like this woman and persuading your husbands to do good things so this was a well-to-do woman indeed because all she wanted to do was what God would want her to do So she built the house for him. She built a bed, a table, everything this Elsa needed, Prophet Elsa needed. They built everything and they gave him the key to Prophet Elsa. Here's your house. Enjoy it. Elsa was happy. And he wanted to thank her, so he said, What do you want me to do? Do you want me to tell the king what you have done? Do you want me to pray for you? What do you want me to do? You've done all this for me. I am a prophet. What do you want me to do? Just name it and I'll give it to you. And the woman replied back, All I want you to do is just pray for me. I don't want anything. I don't want money. I don't want recognition. I just want you to bless me. I just want you to th just pray for me. This is all I need from you. What would we have said? If we could have 
anything of this world. What are we...